what's up everyone this is apple vibes back with another video and in this video i'm gonna show you guys ultimate features you get when you have a combination of a mac plus iphone this is an interesting video so watch this video till the very end and if you are into using your mac or iphone like a pro join me in my journey and subscribe to my channel and without further ado let's dive in shall we We'll be moving from very basic features to the pro ones towards the end of this video so stay tuned. Also for almost all the features to work you'll need to make sure that your iPhone and Mac are on the same Wi-Fi network and connected to a single iCloud ID on both the devices. Also the Bluetooth should be enabled on both the devices as well. Now that said let's get started. The first most convenient feature that comes in mind is receiving or making calls and texting directly from your Mac. And with Big Sur and iOS 14, it's just become better. You can send Memoji in addition with emojis directly from your Mac. This is a very common feature but saves a lot of time and could be more faster if you use the airdrop shortcut I have shown in my Siri shortcuts video. You can find it popping just about now. So in order to airdrop to work properly, you'll have to enable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on both the devices as I mentioned before. But also on iPhone, you'll have to go to your control center, 3D touch over here and you can find airdrop. Make sure you enable airdrop as well to contacts only or everyone. Only after doing that, it will work on your iphone on the on your mac you don't have to do anything just enable your bluetooth and wi-fi and you are good to go so after doing that just choose a file double click on that and you have an option to share we'll share it to airdrop and very conveniently it will give the devices which are there for airdrop it's my iphone and in a second i'll receive that file on my iphone and vice versa i can do the same just share over here and i'll have all the options to airdrop or something like that i can choose airdrop i have my device and very conveniently I can share the same file from my iPhone to my Mac and I now as simple as this may be it's probably my favorite feature because not just text you can literally copy anything from your iPhone and paste it on your Mac and vice versa maybe may it be a photo or a file or anything you can copy it from your Mac and paste it on your iPhone or you can copy it from your iPhone and paste it on your Mac for example we'll go to my notes app and I'll copy this Siri shortcuts link over here select all i'll copy this we'll go to notes here i'll try to paste it command v and you can see that siri shortcuts link has been pasted on my mac very very conveniently same thing you can do with photos as well so if i go to my photo gallery and then we select a photo i'll copy it instead of sharing it anywhere i'll just copy and again we'll try and paste it command v to paste it and you can see it is showing pasting from taj xr it will show that sweet message as well so if you do that from your mac to your iphone even then it will be showing that it is pasting from your macbook on to your iphone the next feature is known as continuity camera so do you like to scan documents on the go and send it to your printer or print it immediately well this feature does a pretty sweet job all you have to do is just double press on your mac right click and import from iphone either take a photo or scan documents i'll say scan documents at the moment and immediately it will open the camera on your iphone just put it like this it will try to scan the document and here we go perfectly scan document over here i'll say done and save now we'll check on our mac on our screen you can see that it has converted into a pdf scan document and voila same thing if you want to take a photo it won't scan this time but it will open the camera and if you want to take a photo i'll just take a photo like this and say use photo and it will save that photo on the desktop if you are somewhere where you don't have access to Wi-Fi and have a good stable network on your iPhone, with just a click, you can connect your Mac to your iPhone's hotspot. Just one click. All you have to do is go to your Wi-Fi and it will be showing personal hot hotspot Taj XR. Make sure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is enabled on your iPhone like I mentioned before. Just press on that. You'll have to put the password if you have set a password for your hotspot and instantly your Mac has connected to your iPhone's network.
if you are liking this video a subs to the channel would be awesome now the next feature is desktop icloud this can be customized but by default desktop will be set as desktop icloud on your mac well i don't prefer this cause it floods my icloud drive so you can change it from or you can let it be on default and whatever you keep on your desktop will be saved on your icloud automatically so you can access that from your iphone using the files app or at your ease what i mean by that is if we go to finder and from downloads if i transfer one file for example iphone plus mac 4 if i transfer this to the desktop now on our iphone when we go to our files app and we'll have an option for desktop and documents we'll open this folder and here you will find that iphone plus mac 4 which is transferred is there in our iCloud drive now I don't prefer this and if you want to change this all you have to do is go to your system preferences and then Apple ID and go to iCloud drive options and just uncheck this desktop and documents folder from here it will give you a warning that it will remove that from your iCloud drive don't worry it won't be deleted just say turn off say done show in finder and over here you can go to desktop you can go to icloud drive and desktop over here and you will find all the files which were there over there are still over here it has not been deleted from your mac the next feature is known as handoff now handoff basically lets you continue your browsing on your or your work from your iphone to mac or mac to iphone it works it works both ways and it's fantastic so for example i'm working on pages right now as you can see and on my mac you have you'll get this option you'll have a tiny iphone on the software or on the app you are using and its compatibility so you can see that pages is compatible with iphone and mac all i have to do is click on this and very conveniently it will take me to that page or it will take me to that app vice versa if i am browsing if i am browsing on my mac for example we'll say apple wipes over here type apple wipes and say if I wanted to continue this on my iPhone, just go to the multitasking view and at the bottom you can see Safari from Mufaddal's MacBook Pro. Click on that and it will take you to the very same page you are on your iPhone. So you can continue your work on your iPhone or you can do vice versa, continue your work from your iPhone to your Mac. But if you want handoff to work, first you'll have to go to your system preferences, then general and at the bottom you can see allow handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. Make sure you have this check and after that only you will have this option a tiny iPhone from the apps you are using on your iPhone on your Mac. The next feature is related to iTunes. Now you may know this feature but if you don't in iTunes now finder from macOS Catalina just check a box and you will save yourself a hassle of connecting your iPhone using a Mac to your iPhone forever. We will go to finder and you can see that Taj XR is showing on my Mac. So make sure that here first you will have to connect your iPhone with a wire and and it will show your device your iphone here just scroll down and make sure you tick this option show this iphone when on wi-fi so my iphone is not connected through wire right now and still i am able to transfer data or movies or music directly to my iphone without using a wire and this will save a lot of time and if you didn't know this feature go to your finder right now and enable this feature so this is all for this video guys let me know in the comments on what do you want me to make my next video on also don't forget to like share and subscribe this video thanks for watching this video my name is Mufaddal this is Apple Vibes take care and I will see you in the next video